because I I had a cyst removed on my ovary a few months ago, and the an- the antibiotics that they gave me clogged me up terribly, really, really bad. And I drink green tea anyway, and it took a couple months to get regular. And just listening to this program, I feel like I need to do something else. Green tea ain't going to kill no parasites and detox your body. Or, or you take it, colon therapist. Yeah, no, baby girl. You definitely want to take it to the next level. Whatever you probably have in your mind about what it means to be healthy and clean, go ahead and, and, and bump that up a few more notches because it really is deeper than we assume. If you're having any, like with your with your ovaries, perfect example, uh, with, with womb health in general, a lot of times it ain't nothing but clogged up toxins and mu- toxins and mucus that have started to accumulate in the ovaries. Yep. So that's that's all that that's all that is, and that's something that you can truly, uh, you know, naturally naturally get rid of. But you know, you went through an operation, and, and thank goodness, hopefully now you are uh, on the path to wellness. But I would say to definitely go ahead and start now uh, with your diet and with uh, getting colon therapy and herbal supplements like the CKLS, the Royal Flush. These mm-hmm. products will also a uh, super colon cleanse. You can get all this from a health food store locally. That will uh, Whole Foods or Seven Out of that will help to start you in purging these impurities and toxins out your body. And uh, hopefully you'll do maybe a nutritional consultation, and that will assist you in knowing what to do to put the good things back into your body and start fresh. Yeah, I know I'm gonna have to do something because when my hormones were all out of balance, I started gaining weight. And then I started walking in the evening, and when I started slimming down, it's like everything is going except my stomach. My, I mean, and I know that's a tight area anyway, but it's a little more bloated, and it don't look right, so. Mm, yeah, yeah, you definitely probably feel like most of us uh, are feel with impacted feces around our stomach, and that's a lot of the reason as well as why well, it's, it's harder for women to lose in that area. They're impacted. Yeah, okay, thank you. That's okay, all I no have. problem, sis, no problem. Okay, um, is anybody else on the line that has a question or comment? 843, do you have a question or comment? 920. Right here. Hello. Go ahead. Hello. Yes. Hey, this is Queen. I um had talked to you and me and Poetry 999, and we always listen to your show. Hello, Alexis? Come on, me or the herb lady? Uh, you, Alexis. <laughs> okay, hey. <laughs> You, you remember me, and I was telling you about the Hurricane Katrina. I'm a, I'm above sea level now. I'm I'm, I'm doing good. I just wanted for, to let you for, know that. For real, though? Yeah, for real. Because you were supposed to email me. We were supposed to talk. I did email you, and it failed. The email had failed. I don't know, because I, I, um, I got a Gmail, too. Well, it's Alexis K. Tyler VP at gmail.com. I'm still here. I'm looking at my email and it right said, now. And it said it failed, but... I had a um, website called um, D Herbs, and it's a herbal specialist. That yeah, I refer people to them. I'm yeah. Not about them. Did you see his YouTube videos? Uh, not all of them. It's, no. It's called Beauty Toxic. No, what's so that? He um he has a lot of um what you all were talking about earlier, like a lot of stuff that we putting in our bodies and stuff we using that we're not supposed to be using. Yes. He was like saying a lot of things. He was telling us stuff that we shouldn't be using. That's why I just uh, had that. But I was just letting you know that I'm doing good, and I let him have it because he was after I had, you know, had that brief um, session with you. I don't know why, but it called it bring it bring his energy here. Well, not here to where I'm living, but on my phone. What you mean? And he called. He called my phone, trying to get, trying to come and stay with me, and I let him have it, and Which I one? told him. The baby daddy in Mississippi. Okay, the one that, that okay. And what does that fucks my head up? He want to live here because he the police looking for him, and I told him hell no. <laughs> uh, well, tell him did, did did you were looking for that check? Did you get it? You get them child support check? No, he did, he he, he on the run from the police, and he on the run from the child support people no, too. No, but before that, did he give you any money and help you though? When you was trying hell to hell no. Well then, uh uh-uh. uh. Hell no, that's why I cut them off too. And then plus I'm still working with this discrimination uh, lawsuit with uh, housing. Very good. But the federal housing. So I've been doing that. I have got my uh, settling papers in, and I'm just waiting on that. 
Very, very good. I'm so Thank proud you. of you because I was wondering what happened and where you working on yourself. I got to ask you to because I wanted you to keep in touch with me. But, so but what's your so email cool. again? I'm going to write it down. It's A L E X A L E X Y S S. Get Rashad to walk down Y S S K T Y. That's okay. Get Rashad to walk down K T Y L O R L O R V P as in vagina power V P V P at gmail dot com. Okay at gmail dot com. All right. Cause that can be anytime. Yes, I sure am. Cause I want to. I want to um, keep you informed, and, and I know it's a lot of people that you would probably know that are going through discrimination. Felicia. Of course. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I know how to fill out the paperwork, you know, with housing and the projects, people that live in the projects. That's we having we need problem. to do a whole other show around this topic because, I mean, we're, I'm dealing with something – uh, with a young girl, she's 25. I'm mentoring her and doing intuitive life coaching with her. That's the girl you see on the YouTube video. We're dealing with the custody battle right now, and uh, I'm going. She's. I'm waiting for her to call in, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. I want you all to be witnesses. I want you all to hear this shit that me and her have been going through with these people. We've been taping them on the phone, and um, we've been doing all the procedures we need to do to collect evidence. And while we're looking for her, an attorney. To, to build a case to show that she deserves to have custody of her child, not the right. father and his wife. We're going to play uh, the phone conversation so that uh, we can record them, and I want you all to listen to this, and, and mm-hmm. so you can go back into this show, and we're going to put them on YouTube as well, so you all can see what kind of people this girl is dealing with, and we're getting ready to do a fundraiser rally. I want everybody to get involved that can help me so that we can raise money for her defense fund, so um, the mm-hmm. Jalen Defense Fund, so that we can pay the attorney. He needs $2,000, so I'm going to be right. a part of that. Every, of us getting involved when we get out in the streets, I'm going to help raise money for her defense fund yeah. so she can get her child back, and I want y'all to hear firsthand the kind of stuff that we have been dealing with. You can see what kind of father and so-called stepmother that this child right. is enduring. So I, I'm already dealing with helping young women and showing young women about what we struggle with on different levels because this is still mm-hmm. a, a form of discrimination and abuse towards this girl for the law to take her child from her, not even listening to her, not even knowing her case. They told lies and created a whole false scenario to take custody of this, this child from her mother and just give her a small amount of visitation. So I'm there with you. I understand what you're saying, and that's what I'm about. So you have to let me know what day you can call back in so we can get okay. into the details of it because the first hour was about the health and colonics, and the second one I, we're going to play all of these phone calls so that we can and let everybody see what, what this is really like. And another thing I have, my grandmother, I feel like my grandmother is in cahoots with my oldest daughter's father. He's been recording me on the Hello? 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 Are you still there? Hello? Uh, I'm here. Oh, yeah, and he's been, uh, the same thing that he's doing that the um, she's been getting done to her, he's been doing it to me, like recording the phone calls. And my grandmother just a month ago, she told me that she would call the state of Minnesota on me to get my kids taken away because she really wants my daughter. And this is the same thing she did to my mother with us. Okay, but do you have custody of your children? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I have custody. They are, my, they are my care. I don't have full custody, like, because he still pays child support. I mean, I don't know how that really works. No, but it's, that, that's not. That you, the, the father doesn't have custody of the children because he pays child support. Is that what the okay. state law says? Were the, were you, so when you gave birth to these children, they've always been in your custody? Yes, they have. Never been in their have custody. Have you ever been to, to court? Has there any, been any court order that establishes you and somebody else shares custody? Uh, well, we well we went to court for for uh, the battle of the child support, but see he feels like he should he don't have to pay because he don't see my his daughter every no, day. I'm trying to ask you about custody. Was, well, your, I don't, was there ever any court order that takes custody from you or they no. give somebody? Oh, okay, well you have custody of children. So then I'm going to ask you another question. If you know that you're being taped, do they tell you this phone conversation is being taped and there's somebody else on the phone or there's a witness? No, they don't. He, so why he do told you feel my like grandma they're taping you. Because he told my grandmother, and my grandmother told me so that they were. So told you, have you continued to have conversations with this man? No, phone? I have not. I changed, that's why I got my number changed. I got my number. So what are you discussing so, with the grandmother? Well, it's my grandmother. 
and my grandmother is trying to get me to bring my daughter out there. I'm going to ask you a question. If you think that she's in it and she knows that 